Hello, hello. I'm Alana Heim of Prosperity Alignment, and I'm bundled up, sitting here on top of Mount Rose Summit. And behind me, if you're able, I can't quite tell. Can you see the magnificence back there? That's Lake Tahoe. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. I decided to hike up the mountain on my own. Never done that before. And what really was calling me was my intuition to connect to myself and to source and to nature. And I love this hike. I do it probably only once a year, which is unfortunate. I should do it more often. But I've never done it by myself. And I don't know why. I just, I've always had friends I wanted to go, family. And I realized that because I use human design and I understand human design, and my own unique energy blueprint. I don't have sacral energy. I'm not here to sustain that energy. And it was fascinating to come up here and hike by myself and realize I was burning out at points. I didn't have the energy to quite get up here. But luckily I have the willpower. I have the will center to find in me. And that was so evident in how I was hiking. It was constantly my willpower saying, come on, come on, we can get there. Let's do this. Let's get to the top so we can relax and we can put our feet up and literally enjoy this beautiful scenery, the magnificence that is all around us, including the ladybug we saw, the butterflies fluttering by, the birds, the chipmunks, all of it. That's the part that was the reward. That's what I was working to, to achieve, to get here. So I could literally eat my lunch, take my socks and shoes off, relax, um, read a book, write, journal, whatever. It was, that was my reward. So that's just a small piece of human design and understanding energy. So I wanted to take a moment and give you a little bit more about human design. What is it? I talk about it all the time. It's one of my favorite tools to use with my clients. It's part of the book that I am a contributing author to. My chapter is called Money. And it's all about how I found human design and how I'm here to use that. And with my clients, with myself, with everybody. I want everyone to know about human design. So what is it? Human design is a synergy of Eastern and Western astrology. There's some Kabbalah involved. You have the Hindu chakras, the I Ching, the Chinese I Ching system. You have quantum physics. So you have all of these different aspects that come together to formulate a chart that is your unique blueprint of how you process energy. Some of us have throat energy, and if you can tell in my voice, it's very kind of crackling, it's wavering, wavering a little, I don't have a throat. And the fascinating part is I journeyed up here by myself, there's no one around, I think there's someone coming now, but I don't have that energy. And so I can't sustain that with my throat and being able to communicate. And so I'm talking quieter, I'm talking, um, a little less enthusiastically just because I don't have that energy to use right now. When you know consistently what you bring energetically, you know who you are, you know who you're here to be, you know what is yours and what's not yours and what is for others to pick up and experience through you. So anything that we have in the chart that's defined is our energy that we consistently have every day, always, since birth. So at birth, all of the energies formed our inner essence, our being, part of our soul, if you will. So the only thing that we need to be able to understand or read or run your chart is your birth date, your birth time. That's pretty, pretty crucial and important. And your birthplace, because everything came into your life form from energy. And energy is everything. 
but these certain energies came in to create your conscious aspect and your unconscious aspect. And when you understand how you're designed, you begin to see things differently. You begin to see the beauty that is within yourself, the beauty that was within your family, your friends, the strangers you meet, everyone around you. Because when you understand that energy, you know how you handle it or process it or work with it. There are many times when we're around others, we can pick up or receive the energies they bring to the table and we can amplify those energies. And those energies we can have more powerfully than they can, but only in the short term. We can't sustain it. So me bringing up and talking about I don't have a sacral. I don't have the work life force energy as 70% of the world has. I'm not here to work. I'm here to relax and enjoy life. And the more that I come into that relaxation and enjoying all of this energy around me, the more inspirational I can be, the more impactful I can be with my clients and with the people around me. So it's, it's powerful to know this because that is how I have transformed myself, my life, by stepping into who I'm here to be and not thinking I'm supposed to be like you and everybody else around me. I have that will center that I talked about and that really is a work to rest energy where as I can I can work as long as there's a end in sight and I can go and relax and enjoy life. That's huge. That's why to be able to get to the top, it was like I could just stay the course and I could let's let's get there. I have the willpower to do it and not everyone has that. I also have energy that connects me to nature. That's why I'm barefoot out here. It's why I love nature and the water, all the elements. Oh, there's a little, hold on a second, look. Can you see the little chipmunk in my backpack? Hi, buddy. Hi, chipmunk. Would you like a nut? Yeah, come here. Hi, how are you? My little friend. I've been talking with the animals all day. And most of the chipmunks have come to hang out with me. It's pretty exciting. Maybe he would like something to eat. Anyway, the really cool part about human design is you get to step into your power. Step into the role you're here to lead. Step into being authentic, being who you are. <clears throat> it's pretty exciting. It's a happy place to be, to know who you are, and to really step into that role and share it with everyone because ultimately we're all here to be ourselves we're all here to experience this magnificence of who we are just simply by being ourselves and so the more you can understand who you are and understand your energy and how you're designed you really get to step into that ultimate place of being you the beautiful you you've always been so if you'd like to know more about human design, contact me. You can go to prosperityalignment.com backslash how to have a free chart run. And I will email you a chart and a free guide so you can start to unravel just the amazing possibilities that are within yourself. I would love to support you, to help you, find you, be you, love you. Have a beautiful day.